Hello to all physics enthusiasts and fans of physical experiments. This is Alexei Kolchin, and today we will talk about the amazing properties of a fastening magnet, which initially puzzled me. When I bring the steel bolt close to this side of the magnet, it jumps and is magnetized very strongly. I turn the magnet over, and now it is magnetized very weakly. So what does this mean? Is one pole of this magnet really much weaker than the other? And have physicists managed to create an almost magnetic monopole? Let's take a look at how such a magnet is structured. On the back side, we see a solid shell, and at the front, a central insert that is separated from this shell by a plastic spacer. What is the purpose of such a design? And how does it provide a weak magnetic field at the back and a strong one at the front? You can think about this question on your own, answer it, and then watch my explanation. The shell we see here is not a magnet, but it is made of ferromagnetic material, most likely steel. It performs two functions. On one hand, it technically protects the magnet located inside from damage, and on the other hand, which is the main function, it acts as a magnetic conductor that intercepts the magnetic flux, so the magnetic field behind becomes weak. Let's build the magnetic field of a cylindrical disk magnet in the Visimag program. In this picture, it can be seen that the magnetic field is concentrated on the edge of the cylinder. And now let's add a shell with a magnetic permeability M that is currently equal to just 2. There were no significant changes, but let's start increasing M, and already at M equal to 5, the magnetic circuit partially intercepted the field under the magnet. At M equal to 10, the interception intensified. At M equal to 30, the field under the shell weakened significantly. And with M equal to 100, a picture of the field interception was established that will not change any further. And it turns out that both poles are on one side of this structure. The magnetic field lines emerge from the north pole of the magnet and all converge on the side surface of the shell, which is the south pole. So we still couldn't achieve a monopole. And if I bring the magnets together with their backsides, I don't feel any interaction, neither repulsion nor attraction. However, if you bring their front sides together, they immediately magnetize to each other. I can move them even further apart, and there will still be a strong attraction. However, I cannot shift them so that the centers align. I lack the strength. Magnets repel each other, but very cleverly along their surface. Before we move on to our traditional concluding question, I want to remind you that our channel exists solely on donations. And you can participate in this. How to do it is written below this video. And now, the final question. Perhaps we will still be able to create a magnetic monopole in the following way. Let's take a multitude of pyramid-shaped magnets and assemble them into a sphere so that the north poles are on the outside and the south poles are on the inside. Well, we will see a sphere whose surface is a solid north pole. You can write your thoughts for and against this project in the comments on our YouTube video.